Susan Wanker is a FoxNews.com <laughs> contributor. She happens to be actually the uh, niece of conservative hero Phyllis Schlafly. Uh, she's written questionable articles for Fox News before on how it's the women's fault that there is a battle of the sexes. Well, of course it is. <laughs> At Fox News, it's always the women's fault, and they could always find a woman to say that. Well, she's got a new article out. Uh, let me show you the headline of it and the picture. To be happy, we must admit women and men aren't equal, she writes in a foxnews.com editorial. Okay, well, that seems clear enough. And, you know, she's obviously got a traditional marriage there to make her point. And in the article, she says, men and women have no idea who's supposed to do what. My God, they're so confused because of all the same-sex marriage stuff. And uh, if it wasn't for that, then men and women would not be confused and they would have lovely marriages and I'm sure we'd have far less divorce. Uh, it turns out Susan Wanker is one of the people that are confused because that picture she took came from this story. Alaska women Stephanie Figarelli and Leela MacArthur wed atop Empire State Building. Oops, that's a lesbian couple. <laughs> what I love about Fox News is their total indifference to fact checking. They're like, oh yeah, well that's a good traditional marriage right there. That man and that woman, oops. <laughs> Man, what a wanker. So uh, I want to give you one last quote here from this. Turns out the actual story on how the lesbian couple got married was said this, quote, Figarelli 29, MacArthur 24, met in anatomy class at the University of Alaska Anchorage. Uh, this is already awesome. Celia Milton, the interfaith minister who married them, said the Figarelli, invited MacArthur out to see a drag show and MacArthur thought she meant a drag race. Okay. <laughs> what a wanker!